Hey guys, this is Ballsley from Hippopotamus Sandwich, and it is a pleasure to be with you all today. I am just so excited to be here right now. Anyways, I am in Pokey Clan Forums tournament, and this is round one, and I got paired up with a guy named Mikey X in game, and his YouTube name is Wi-Fi Battler57. So he leads off with Fortress, and I scare it off by going for Flamethrower, and he switches to Dragonite, so I just take this chance to set up rocks. And I see it's a Dragonite's Dragonite, so I want to get as much damage on it as possible so it'll hinder a sweep. So I just, uh, I know I have Focus Sash, so I can close combat, and then I can take another hit down to my Sash, and then I can close combat again, and then I can finish it off with a priority move. So... I take that chance to do that, and he Aqua Tails, so I know it's a physical Dragonite, and I don't think it is a um, Dragon Dance mix Dragonite. So yeah, I just get another close combat on it, and it puts it in killing range of a Scissor's Bullet Punch. And I was I went for the flamethrower after I had my Sash because I get Blaze, but in case like he missed with Aqua Tail or something, but he didn't, and he just uses Fire Punch. So I send in Scizor for the revenge kill and just bullet punch it. So that worked out pretty well. I get rocks up and kill Dragonite, so that works out. He goes into Typhlosion, which, you know, is obviously just... Like, this Typhlosion gave me a lot of trouble this battle. So I go out into Salamence for the resist, and it uses Flamethrower, and this does a surprising amount of damage to me. It does over half, and I just really couldn't do anything, so I just stayed in to die. I was hoping maybe random number generator would give me luck or something. So yeah, that really sucks. Wellcock goes down to two flamethrowers. So I go on Alakazam, and that's another rule about this tournament. You have to have at least one UU or NU, and I chose Alakazam as my UU because I really like Alakazam. And this is a uh, choice specs Alakazam. And he switches into Fortress, which is kind of questionable. Um, I don't really know why. Uh because it doesn't have very good special defense at all, but even with the resist, like it's still, it's still a three hit KO, and he only ends up getting one layer of spikes, one layer of spikes. So I think I was on the good end of that. So Fortress goes down, and he gets one layer of spikes down. He goes into Ambipom, and I know that he would fake out, so I go out in Skarmory, and I can set up some spikes now. And fake out just really doesn't do anything. So I get a layer of spikes down as he switches back out into Typhlosion. So now I have Stealth Rock and a layer of Spike, so that Typhlosion can't really switch out much um, beyond this point. And I know he would Flamethrower, obviously, so I got into Blissey, and this <laughs> this is incredible. His Typhlosion Flamethrower is my Blissey, and gets a critical hit and does a lot of damage. <laughs> it does around 300 damage, so I'm just... That really sucks, because I was going to Toxic whatever came in. I was going to... Uh, I was going to Toxic whatever came in, so I soft-boiled. I mean, I had to soft-boiled because he got a crit, but I was going to Toxic whatever came in if he had not gotten a critical hit, but it's okay. So he switches in Steelix, and I have the Flamethrower on this Blissey, and I didn't really think his Steelix could do anything to me anyway, and my Blissey returns his critical hit um, on his Steelix. So a crit for a crit there, so that worked out. He sends in Miss Magus, and I know it's going to sub substitute plus Calm Mind and all that good stuff that Miss Magus is do. So I'll switch on to Scizor, so I could break subs with Bullet Punch, and if Scizor ended up dying to Hidden Power Fire, if he carried that for some reason, I would, I would, uh, he would not have a sub up. So I would be able to outspeed it and kill it with another Pokemon. I just wanted to, um, I wanted it to not have a sub up if Scizor died, but... He ends up not going for a... Uh, he goes for Hidden Power Fighting, and that doesn't do very much damage at all. And I just kill it with a priority. And he goes back out in that Palm, And I thought he would fake out here, so I just stayed in. But he doesn't go for the fake out, and I just bullet punch and kill him. So, whatever. <laughs> and his last Pokemon is Typhlosion, and it takes a lot of damage from Stealth Rock and Spike. So I just finish it off with Bullet Punch. And, yeah, so... I win round one, and I advance, so... Good battle, Wi-Fi Battler 57. Thanks for watching and rate, comment, subscribe.